Hello everyone, we are Group 3, we are working via monitoring project. The main goal is to design a prototype system to replace a human expert with a robotics process to spread bugs and uh, move them from a petri dish to a designated point where a photo of bug can be taken. It is needed so we can build a database of uh, images of uh, many aquatic bugs. So, sub goals would be to design the physical environment of a robotics process. So, the kind of robot we are going to use, how we are going to place the dish, and uh, so on. Uh, the second task would be design and implement computer vision system capable of bug detection. So, we would need to decide how to handle small size of objects, how to react to possibly different environments, so different placement of a petri dish, or different uh, placement of a robot. The third goal would be the gripper design. Bugs are very small and delicate, so the gripper has to be special. And the last one, robotics programming and motion planning. How to avoid disturbances uh, of the environment. For example, picking the bugs, considering that they're in the liquid and very small, so even the small motion can disturb the whole system. And so, the challenges we had in our project is uh, the bugs are so small that almost indist in indistinguishable from noise. And then reflections uh, due to liquid and the uh, glass petri dish they are actually more noticeable than the bugs themselves. And then the last one, industrial robots turned out to be not up to a challenge. They are way too big for that task. As for results, uh, we built a working computer vision system that's able to detect bugs positions, dimensions and orientation if a dish is relatively free. Otherwise, uh, it's almost impossible to separate the bugs uh, with the image. And then uh, we also built a simple simulation to solve case a major challenge of using industrial robots for the task. Uh, some example for computer vision. Uh, here you can see a petri dish and uh, a coin. Coin is used as a reference object for sizing. Uh, the dish itself is about 9 uh, centimeters in diameter, so you can imagine how these box are small, usually by just a couple of millimeters. Then the red lines, aside from big circle which uh, detects uh, the dish, the red lines are the width which uh, we would use for proper gripping and the blue lines would be the orientation and the length. As for the simulation process we used, we took an image of a real dish with bugs. When we process the image, detect, uh, detected all the bugs and measured them. Then in the simulation we add the boxes uh, as bug models and uh, when we simulate robot motion. The boxes are actually 10x size, because if we simulated them in real size, then it, they would be almost unnoticeable in the simulation.